can't you hear the parade? Somebody's calling my name. They're on the sidewalk and all the people turn their heads to see. Oh, mama, am I holding onto the wings of a prayer? Waiting for Rosie, tell me, do you think she cares? Oh, they're dancing in the streets in little Italy. It's time for the great thumb pick challenge. So, if you're a guitarist who likes to play both finger style, finger picking, and strumming, you're probably dealing with a similar problem that I've dealt with for the last 50 years, which is, can I find a pick that does both? You know, you're looking for a thumb pick that gives you the benefits of a flat pick, but the ability to get a nice, nice alternating pick in the bass. And there are a lot of options out there. They're all inexpensive. So none of this is gonna be price dependent, really. But you can go everywhere from low tech to pretty high tech these days. Are you getting more as you go high tech? Are you getting more better sound? Are you getting better control? Are you getting better comfort? What's happening as you move up the scale? Let's find out and see if there is a holy grail thumb pick for you. Those are eight of the many, many thumb picks I've tried and used in the last 50 years. I mean, geez, really? <laughs> so I'm going to play some excerpts from Little Italy, a song from the late 70s by Stephen Bishop. And uh, you're going to hear it has finger picking, it has some strumming, and it kind of is a hybrid of those two as you move through the verse. So that's why I'm looking for, you know, this holy grail thumb pick to be able to navigate a complex song like this in a way that I feel confident. You'll be able to hear that I immediately have greater confidence with certain thumb picks than with others. So check it out. At the low tech end is a Dunlop thumb pick. One of the problems is I have a big thumb. So I buy these XLs and they have this huge tip that sticks off the end. In fact, it's so big that I end up having to shave it down. I end up clipping it. I end up using a nail file, doing all kinds of stuff in order to make it work. But when I'm done, I end up with a thumb pick that is actually comfortable for my big thumb. Uh, it has no angle though. It is just so as I strum, it tends to kind of grab the string a little bit and it makes a little bit of a strong edgy sound. See what you think. That's a Dunlop. Let's move over to the uh, Herco. These cost about two bucks each, or a little less than two bucks each, and they're like kind of a thin, maybe medium to thin celluloid flat pick attached to a very flexible loop. So even though I have a big thumb, it's pretty comfortable for me. Uh, I think what you'll notice, because it's a thin pick, it has quite a bit of high end. I'm not even going to play you guys the, the National and the Planet Wave ones. For one thing, they're just too small for my thumb. They're super tight, even though they're fairly, I mean, they're labeled large. They're just not really large. They have little tiny plectrums on them. I don't know. Maybe they'd work for banjo or something. They don't work for me on guitar. 
All right. Next, I want to talk about Zookies. Uh, I found out about Zookies because I was checking out the, uh, the Lovell sisters of Larkin Poe. And uh, it happened that Megan Lovell, who plays some mean, mean lap steel guitar, talked about Zookies. This is um, Zuki thumb pick. They're really cool because they're slightly angled in word, which makes it easier to um, get the right attack. You can get a 10, 20, or 30 degree angle. And that means that when your thumb is in this angled position, it goes straight across the strings. Now, that really does make a difference to the tone. I think it darkens it a little bit because you're not catching the edge of the pick. I bought some uh, of the 20 degree model. And in, in this case, let's see, uh, you know, 12 for 20 bucks. So again, they're cheap. Right? So just a quick note of the three, that's been the most playable so far, the most sure-footed. You kind of, I can feel where everything is and the tone, even though it's darker, I could probably put up with that. All right, now we're gonna go into the more sophisticated and innovative versions of a thumb pick. There's something called a shark tooth. I hope you can see that. For 12 bucks, you basically get two bands plus a third band you can use with your own pick. The two of them that come from shark tooth have a interesting shaped pick that has a very sharp, little plectrum on it. And I tried those, they worked pretty well for me, but it's a very stiff pick, not my favorite. I tend to like a little more flexibility. So I went ahead and put my own flat pick in here. This is a Dunlop Max grip, and this just happens to be kind of my favorite pick on the planet. Um, so I put my thumb in here, you pull this around tight, it's Velcro enclosure. And so it just tightens right around your thumb. Now the interesting thing, you'd think, wow, this fabric might get in the way, right? It doesn't seem to get in the way, which is very interesting. It kind of makes you look like you got a Band-Aid on, but if that doesn't bother you, this actually, I can, I can actually simulate a pretty natural strum with this on, even though it's kind of clamped to my thumb, which is interesting. And it does give me true thumb pick kind of flexibility and accuracy. So let's see how this one sounds. As with anything, because I'm changing, it's sort of forcing me to make subtle adjustments in the way I attack the string. But that is a very comfortable way, and I can get a pretty natural strum out of it. All right. Now, super high tech. That's my dog. Um, super high tech is this new Black Mountain spring-loaded thumb pick. It literally has a spring. Now, when I bought this, I didn't know what the flat pick was going to be like. It happens to be a super thick, heavy pick. All right, that means it's going to be a darker tone. Uh, but I will say there's something about that flexibility. Really nice. It does not fall off. The fact that it has a spring load means I can put my thumb in as far as I want and it doesn't hurt, which is great. So pretty interesting, right? Let's see how this one sounds. Oh, and by the way, these are about six bucks a piece. You get three for just like 20 bucks.
tonally, I'd love to know which of those you like the best. The, the tone of the Zuki and of the Black Mountain are kind of similar. They're both kind of dark. And I think it's partly because these are the thickest, hardest, least flexible of the actual pick surfaces. You know, the Herco is definitely the brightest. There's just no question about that. But it's pretty darn flexible and plasticky. Which probably is the most like a normal flat pick. That's, that's pretty good. That's the shark tooth. It's a little stiff on the upstrum. Something about the spring, it actually does allow, when you do the upstrum, it releases just a little bit. So that's pretty good, but that pick is so thick. Man, I wish they made this with like a medium pick. I would love it. Sidewalk and all the people turn their heads to see. Oh, mama, am I holding on to the wings of a prayer? Waiting for Rosie, tell me, do you think she cares? Oh, they're dancing in the streets in little Italy. Oh, they're all dancing in the streets in little Italy. Stay out of the bar rooms, the boys I see you with the clowns. I'm a rosy, she's got a rainbow around her shoulders. You better not lose her by your flowers, make her heart sing. Oh, they're dancing in the streets, little Italy. Oh, they're all dancing in the streets, little dog over here licking himself. Nice. So there you have it, the great thumb pick challenge. I really don't know if I have a favorite yet. I still don't think I've found the holy grail. And that may be where this all comes down. Maybe the challenge is to say, hey, you know what? I'm looking for a lighter tone. I'm going to use a Herco. Hey, you know, I'm looking for something that gives me the flexibility of simply not dropping my regular pick. Maybe I'll go with a shark tooth. Uh, you know, want something that really gives me super control, I'd probably go with the Black Mountain. I haven't found the Holy Grail for me yet, but maybe you can find it for you. I hope you can. Hey, visit guitardiscoveries.com to see all my videos. Please take a moment to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll get notified when other videos come out. I love doing this just for fun. See you soon.